Chicago has a long history in city planning. In 1909, the Plan of Chicago, co-authored by Daniel Burnham and Edward Bennett, sought to impose order on a rapidly expanding region and coordinate transportation systems on which the city's growth depended. Still considered a seminal document in the history of modern city planning, the Plan of Chicago transformed America's approach to city planning and inspired a succession of plans for urban improvement. More than 60 years later, the city of Chicago proposed another ambitious plan, the $1 billion North Loop Redevelopment Plan. By the 1970s, the rise of post-war suburban developments and the deterioration of America's inner cities fueled concerns about protecting and enhancing Chicago's core. To avoid the downtown from becoming a patchwork of parking lots and abandoned stores, the North Loop area, loosely bounded by Wacker Drive, State Street, Washington Street, and Clark Street, was designated an urban renewal zone. After several years of failed launches, progress came with the 1978 re-election of Republican candidate James R. Thompson for governor of Illinois. Thompson commissioned up-and-coming star architect Helmut Jahn to design a state government building in the North Loop. The selected design, a glass and steel building, would house more than 50 state agencies employing 3,400 workers and form the cornerstone in the city's North Loop Renewal Plan. The State of Illinois Center, later renamed the James R. Thompson Center after the governor, opened in 1985. Marring the opening was the final cost of the building, $172 million, which far exceeded the original estimate. Lack of government financing would halt the North Loop Redevelopment Plan for the next few years, and by the 1990s, investment in Chicago's downtown was on the rise, causing the city to abandon the plan altogether.